Welcome back to another Power BI 3-Minute Tip. If you're liking these tricks in Power BI and you think it could be helpful for you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell. Today we're going to be talking about hierarchies. Hierarchies are cool because it allows us to drill into our charts and see different levels of our data. So the first hierarchy I'm going to show you is just a normal date hierarchy. This is kind of um, standard when you're just adding dates to a graph. So we're going to use a line chart. We're going to take an order date and put it in the axis. And we're going to put in sales amount and the value. And you can see in the field pane or field well that date uh, the date is in is a hierarchy and it starts with year on the top level, then drills into quarter, then month, and then day. The way we interact with this, you can't really do anything with this yet until you enable drill down by clicking that button. And now, if let's like we click on the uh, 2013 data point, we can drill into 2013. Now we're into the quarter level of 2013. Kind of cool. And if we drill in one more we drill into the month level of uh, of 2013. So that's awesome. And we have another couple options of how to drill down. We can drill down into the next level of the hierarchy just based on a point. So now we're in uh, still showing quarters. Or we can drill down into all um, different points of the hierarchy. And what this shows is if you look at the fact that we have 2011 through 2013, this drills down and still shows you 2011 to 2013, but we now have the quarter section. Drill down one further, now we have the month uh, the month level of the hierarchy. So pretty cool. Uh, date hierarchies are very useful. I usually tend to click this arrow and go to order date, which turns this into not a hierarchy. Um, you can see that drill down is disabled um, because that's usually how I like to see my trend data, but you might not think so. Another hierarchy I want to show you that's other than dates is just a normal hierarchy that you have to make for yourself. The way you do this is you make uh, you drag one field onto another. This creates a hierarchy by default. Uh, let me show you the benefits of this. So instead of, let's say we had full name uh, and we have order date. See, it just shows us, uh, oh, sorry, not order date. I want sales amount. It shows us the sales amount based on the person's name. And let's say we have one more graph that's the product category uh, with sales amount. And that those are two very cool graphs, but let's say we'd like to see them all on one because we're running out of room on our report. The way we do this is we create this hierarchy just like this, and we're gonna add it to a bar chart. So we'll put in sales amount into the value and the category hierarchy into the axis. And so we have something that looks like the uh, the category bar chart because the category is on the top level, but we can drill into it. So let's drill into the component section and we can see all the people who ordered components. If we drill up and let's say we drill down into all of the categories, we can see that bikes Aaron, clothing Aaron, components Aaron, you can see that it just appends the names of the two uh, separate levels. It's very cool stuff. Hierarchies are a really great way to be able to interact with your data by drilling down. Um, yeah, so if you really like this lesson and you want to click the subscribe button, go ahead. And I will see you tomorrow for another Power BI 3-Minute Tip.